Welcome to another episode of D&D Character Subclasses, where we explore the many different classes and subclasses available in the game. Today, we'll be taking a closer look at the Circle of the Moon Druid, one of the most versatile and powerful subclasses in the game. So, let's dive in and explore what this subclass has to offer. First up, let's take a look at the abilities that you'll gain as a Circle of the Moon Druid. At level 2, you'll gain the Wild Shape ability, which allows you to transform into a variety of different animals, giving you access to new forms of movement, additional hit points, and unique abilities as a bonus action, rather than as an action. Additionally, while you are transformed by Wild Shape, you can use a bonus action to expend one spell slot to regain 1d8 hit points per level of the spell slot expended. At level 6, you'll gain the Primal Strike ability, your attacks in beast form count as magical for the purpose of overcoming resistance and immunity to non-magical attacks and damage. At level 10, you'll gain the Elemental Wild Shape ability, which allows you to transform into elemental creatures such as fire or water elementals, giving you even more versatility in combat. You can expend two uses of Wild Shape at the same time to transform into an air elemental, an earth elemental, a fire elemental, or a water elemental. And at level 14, you'll gain the Thousand Forms, you have learned to use magic to alter your physical form in more subtle ways. You can cast the Alter Self spell at will. So, as you can see, the Circle of the Moon Druid is a highly versatile subclass that can excel in both combat and exploration. But what about feats? Which feats are the best for this subclass? There are a few different feats that can work well with the Circle of the Moon Druid. First up, we have the Mobile Feat which can give you additional movement speed and make it easier to maneuver around the battlefield. This can be especially useful when combined with your Wild Shape abilities, allowing you to quickly close the distance and engage your enemies. Another useful feat is Warcaster, which can help you maintain concentration on spells while in Wild Shape form. This is especially useful when you're using spells such as Barkskin or Conjure Animals to support your allies. Finally, we have the Resilient feat, which can help boost your wisdom score and make you more resistant to spells and effects that target your mind. This can be especially useful when you're trying to maintain concentration on a powerful spell or resist the effects of charm or fear spells. So, there you have it. The Circle of the Moon Druid is a powerful subclass with a wide range of abilities and options. Whether you're looking to excel in combat, exploration, or support, this subclass has something for everyone. So why not give it a try and see what kind of adventures you can have. 